Once upon a time, in the lavish court of a wise and kind-hearted king, a profound challenge was presented. The king, in his quest for ultimate wisdom, sought a single sentence to be engraved inside his prized diamond ring. This sentence, he proclaimed, must be so succinct and powerful that it could guide him in his darkest hour when all hope seemed lost. The courtiers, awed by the gravity of the request, pondered deeply. Among them, a wise minister stepped forward and said, Your Majesty, I shall craft this sentence for you, but you must promise to read it only in the direst of circumstances when no other options remain. The king, intrigued yet solemn, agreed and handed over the ring. Time passed like a river, and life in the kingdom ebbed and flowed with the tides of fate. Then, one fateful day, the peace of the realm was shattered by the thunder of invading forces. The kingdom fell, and the king, now dethroned, fled into the mountainous wilderness. As he traversed the treacherous paths, he found himself at the edge of a sheer cliff, the abyss before him like a monstrous maw. The enemy's relentless pursuit echoed through the mountains, their approach unmistakably close. In that moment of profound despair, the king remembered the ring and its promised wisdom. With trembling hands, he removed the ring and read the inscription, This too shall pass. The simplicity and depth of these words struck him like a bolt of lightning, and a spontaneous, resonant laughter erupted from his soul, filling the desolate valley. The mountains, in their ancient silence, seemed to absorb and amplify his mirth. By a stroke of fortune, or perhaps the fickle hand of destiny, the pursuing soldiers veered away, their footsteps fading into the distance. With newfound clarity, the king regrouped his scattered forces, rekindled the spirit of his people, and led them to reclaim their land. The invaders were vanquished, and the kingdom rejoiced in a cascade of celebration. Amidst the triumphant revelry, garlanded in flowers and lauded by his jubilant subjects, the king once more turned to his ring and read the eternal truth etched within, this too shall pass. In that moment of triumph, as in his moment of despair, the king understood the transient nature of all things, joy and sorrow, victory and defeat, all flowed in an unending cycle, like the ceaseless tides of the ocean. What remained immutable and serene was the witness within, the transcendental observer beyond the dualities of existence.